On my first day as director of the Landmark Trust, I had an incredible job, which was to launch officially the restored Astley Castle in Warwickshire. Many of you may know this building, an extraordinary castle built while the longest siege in English history was happening just 30 miles away. Astley had been left utterly destitute by a fire in the 1970s. The walls were collapsing, the roofs had completely gone, the floors were missing, and even the scaffolding that was holding the building together in one or two places had been buckled and snapped by the force of the walls falling down. And yet, even though it was in such an advanced state of collapse, the landmark didn't give up hope, and after a project that took 10 years in the making, it was reopened, completely restored, and now lived in again by landmarkers on holiday. And it is an incredible example of what can be done with buildings that seem on the face of it to be beyond rescue. And Astley is not a lone example of a building like this. There are amazingly, even in this country, some 10,000 listed historic buildings which are officially recognised as being at risk. These places, if they're lost, are gone forever. And with them, we don't just lose somewhere interesting or beautiful. We lose an actual, real, tangible piece of our past. And when that is gone, we and our children and our grandchildren can never get it back again. It's my passionate belief that the whole point of the Landmark Trust is to try and save important buildings at risk. We don't simply find a new use for them, we bring the skills and the experience and the judgment to restore them and bring them back into use sympathetically and thoughtfully. And we make them somewhere that everybody can enjoy in perpetuity. But we can only do this work with your help. Even a really small amount can make a proper difference to our work. So for example, it could help pay for a dendrochronologist to come and take a sample of an ancient timber and work out just how old it is to enable us to decide how to treat it. Or it could pay for a structural engineer to look at a collapsing piece of wall and help us work out how to stabilise it. So if you can help us, even with a small amount, it really will mean that together we can keep our history alive.